What's good, YouTube? AJ Hova checking in once again. And today I'm going to be coming at you with some more sound advice. Some very cold game that you're going to be needing on yourself for improvement journey. Stay locked in. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And leave a comment down below what you think of the dialogue. Now, let's get into it. So, when you're on your self-improvement journey, there is going to be a phase that you go through and you can really consider it monk mode. You can consider it your training art, right? It's like that, those, those, those cutaways in the Rocky movies where he's, you know what I'm saying, running through the city, running up the steps, the courthouse steps. He's climbing up the mountain and training for his fight with Drago. It's, it's, it's you just being locked in on where on what you're about to get done, right? And I'm just gonna get you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a few little points of what all it's going to do to your mental and your temperament whenever you're in this phase of your self-improvement. So the first point when you start to lose your worldly interest is your real ambitions are going to consume your mind. They're going to consume your thoughts. The same way a, a song can get stuck in your head, right? And you just can't, for whatever reason, you can't figure out why it's stuck there. When your ambition starts to consume your thoughts, it's purposeful because you're actively, you're physically putting in the work every day and you're taking steps towards wherever it is you're trying to get to in life. At this point in your in your training, in your training art, when you're in your monk mode, when, they, when your ambitions start to consume your thoughts, it's, they're the first things you think about in the morning and the last things you think about before you go to sleep. Like, that's the best way I could put it. And everything in between is just you acting on it. When you wake up in the morning and you start to notice that you're not checking your socials first thing, you're not looking to see who texts you through the night, you're not looking to see if you missed any calls, but you're looking at your notes, you're looking at your checklist, you're looking at your itinerary, your schedule for the day. And like, like it's second nature. Like you're not having to remind yourself to do this. You know that you are starting to get deep into your self-improvement journey. Because this is a point where you're you're on autopilot. And this is the this is a beautiful part of it. It has its it has its drawbacks, and I'm gonna get into that here in a second. But this is one of the most beautiful phases of the self-improvement journey because at this point it's not that the work isn't hard but you are starting to enjoy it subconsciously you're starting to enjoy it right because it's not something it's not it's not a chore anymore it's just what you do and you're happy to do it whether or not you're seeing results already or not you're just happy to be able you're grateful that you're that you have put in the work already that has gotten your mind conditioned to just go ahead and wake up and get started with your with your path. Get started with your calling. The second point is you're going to, when you're in your monk mode, you're going to feel a need to connect with, stay connected with your higher conscious and live within your better nature. And what these two things does in tandem is it estranges you from society. Because there are far more people who live low vibrationally. They live at a at a lower, they live at a lower state of being than they should. They're not tapped in with their higher consciousness and they're not, you know, I'm living within their better nature. What you'll notice is what you'll notice is that you'll have people who are texting you. You'll have people who are hitting you up. You'll have people who are telling you that, you know, I haven't seen you in a minute. Yeah, I'm worried about you. And 
you know what I'm saying, God bless their hearts. They're, they, some of them are genuinely just worried about you. But more often than not, it's just distractions. It's just distractions. And once you get deep enough into your journey, it's like you have no, you have no, you have no, you feel no need to engage with it anymore. You feel no need to, you know what I'm saying, go out to clubs, go out partying. You feel no need to impress the Joneses anymore. Because you put yourself on the pedestal that, that that everybody else puts the bullshit on, right? And that's another one of the beautiful things of self-improvement. When you start pouring into yourself, you really realize that you are you you are number one. You have to look out for you first. Your higher consciousness and your better nature will dictate that. Ten times out of ten. 10 times out of 10, like you're going to start just choosing you first and people are gonna, you're gonna start hearing fucking comments that, oh, you're switching up, you're going, this is when you start to hear people really talk like you're going Hollywood. And it's really not that at all. Because most times at this point in the self-improvement journey, it's not like you're seeing any of the results yet. It just seemed like, bro, people know what's coming next. They know what's coming next. Whenever you start to notice somebody just putting in asinine amounts of work in, in, in one industry, dog, you know they're going to be successful. And that's all it is. You're going to have more people who are going to try and knock you off your path and you're going to have people who are supporting you. And that's something you need to be cognizant of. One personal experience, when I used to run, I did four days. No one told me to do this. No one made me get up in the morning. No one had no gun to my head and was telling me, you know, I'm going to go, you need to go work out. It was, it was one conversation I had with my coach one day and I just started to, to wake up early and start working out on my own. But what I noticed was there were a lot more people who were telling me, you should sleep in more. You know, like, why are you like trying to make it seem like that was a, a crazy thing to do? And there were some days where cops actually would try and run me off the track because they, they thought I was trying to vandalize the school or something. I'm, I'm just out here getting this work, right? There, when you're in your monk mode, a lot of times it's going to be you, your thoughts, and God. No one's going to really see the work that's going on. No one's going to really support it they just want they want you to come back to the fold they want you to come go back to that low vibrational state and i'm gonna tell you when you're in your monk mode the best thing you could do is to block all that out the best thing you do is block all that out because this what this is what leads to the next point that i'm going to talk about and it's when you're in your monk mode and you're training art and you get deep enough into it, you start to feel like everything outside of your work is pointless. And to an extent, it is. The partying is pointless. Social media is pointless. The porn, the, the, the skirt chasing, it is pointless, dog. There's no need for, as a... As a grown man, there's no need for you to be doing all that shit. Not if you don't have a house. Not if you don't have, you know what I'm saying, your bills paid. Not if you don't have... You know what I'm saying? You, you, you have, you're not doing this shit for the right reason. Like, you're not doing those things to actually just network. You feel I me? Mean? To find people who are on the same shit you're on. If you're not doing it for the right reasons, it is pointless. It is. It's all a distraction. And things have been framed that way for a while now. Things have been framed to keep you distracted from doing your work. Because what people won't tell you, they don't tell you in school, if you were to become who you're supposed to be, you'd be a very dangerous individual. And I don't even know you, but I do know that that's a fact. When you self-actualize, when you're in your monk mode and you start to self-actualize and you start to really be, you start to, to get privy to what you're capable of on a daily basis whenever you are operating at your highest level, dog. It turns you into a different type of motherfucker. It really does. It really does. 
It's like finding your second wind, but for life. And if you've ever ran exercise really hard, you know what a second wind is and you know how powerful that shit feels. When you're in this phase of the of the training arc, your monk mode, the best thing I can tell you is that if it's not, if it doesn't have to do with you, if you or ever start to doubt that the work you're doing isn't isn't gonna get you where you think you're supposed to be at, bruh, keep working and see what happens. Just keep working. Give it, give it, give it seven more days. Give it seven more days and see how much more work you get done and watch the results. And if you don't feel better after those seven days, fuck it. Fuck it. Indulge in a little bit. Indulge in a little bit. Give yourself a break. But get back into your work. Get back into it. Because the thing about snapping out of the monk mode in the training art, it's easy once you slip out of it to stay out of it. If you ever wake up, and I'm talking, I'm not talking about like the first or second day I'm, where you, oh, I'm like doing it. No, I'm talking about like this. I will put a date on this. You get 12 months into your work and you still feel the inclination to go bullshit around. Give yourself about two, three days, but then get back into it. Get back on your path, man. Because it is the priority. Until you've reached your goals, until you've gotten to where you want to be in life, until your ship has sailed to its final destination, you need to be working. If you're still waking up on a daily basis and you feel like you haven't gotten everything you want in life, bro, there's work to be done. If you're waking up and you feel like, damn, I don't feel like I, you, if you're going to sleep, and you feel like, damn, I, I don't think I live, I don't think I, I fully, I live fully extended today. There's still work to be done. There's still work to be done. But I will leave you with that. On your self-improvement journey in the monk mode phase, if you get 12 months along and you still feel the need to go bullshit around, three days, max, max. But then get back into it because your mission is still the priority. This is all just some more cold game, some free game that you're going to be needing on your self improvement journey. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, remember, on your self improvement journey, keep your chin up, your chest out, and always keep it pushing.